Well, um, we do an annual survey uh, of our membership, um, and uh, every year the numbers have been increasing um, uh, as far as the availability of craft workers uh, and, 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 and just employees in general, uh, the craft worker level and at the management level as well. Um, I think we started to see after the Great Recession, uh, you know, that just prior to the recession, the, the market was very good and, and employment was high, and then there was a steady, huge drop in employment. And then every year since about 2010, there's been an increase uh, in construction employment. And for the last four, five, six years, you know, the craft worker issue uh, and, and employee uh, workforce issue in general has been uh, been a problem. So there's not a lot of people out looking for jobs. Um, I think that the younger generation um, sort of has an attitude towards construction. They, they, they sort of view it as uh, the job of, of, uh, of last resort. If you can't find a job, your mother told you you're going to end up being a ditch digger. And, and so that's kind of the attitude. And, and I, don't think that, uh, I don't think that the schools and, and uh, folks that counsel people on careers uh, look to construction as a place to send people. It's a career that pays very well, very good salaries, um, that um, provides long-term security for people, uh, for their families. Um, I think it's cutting edge. There's an amazing amount of technology that is uh, sort of just proliferated. I would say in the last five years, there's been just a boom in technology. And maybe the construction industry was a little bit behind the, 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 the general business community, but it, it is here absolutely in construction. Um, um, and, um, and like I said, there's lots of opportunities for advancement. Um, and I think there's a certain pride in doing a job where you can actually, at the end of the day, stand back and look at it and say, wow, we, we accomplished that today. You know, we built that part of the pavement or we, we built that section of the bridge. And, and, and when the project's done, you can look at not only the completed project, but the benefits that it provides to the community, um, you know, and to really, I don't think people look at the national economy, but they certainly look at their local economy. So we have, um, we have a joint committee where we meet annually with uh, uh, an organization that represents states' departments of transportation. Uh, the Federal Highway Administration uh, participates in the meeting and we have contractors and designers and we get together once a year um, and talk about issues, a variety of issues that um, um, are impacting the industry in one way or another. The Federal Highway Administration came to us as industry um, and to the DOTs and said, we have some ideas. Why don't we try to leverage the stuff that's out there, the various programs that are out there um, to benefit the, the highway construction part of the industry. I think Federal Highway recognize, and I think the state DOTs recognize as well, that you know, if we don't have the employees, if we don't have the workers that we need to do these projects, we already have a huge backlog of infrastructure needs. If we don't have the workforce to, to build and to address those needs, the, the backlog is just going to continue to grow. And, and I think what the playbook shows is that there's a lot of flexibility. You know, you can learn from what they're doing in, in Arizona and apply it in, in Pennsylvania. Uh, but then again, you might just kind of steal some of their ideas and, and, and do your own thing uh, in Pennsylvania. So I think it, it, it provides both. It provides a framework of how you can work together with the state DOTs, Federal Highway, uh, Industry, um, and the Department of Labor because they have, some, they have the Workforce Development Boards that provide uh, outreach. Um, so I, I think that's the benefit it brings. Mm -hmm.